Okay, so let's say every one pound of money invested in a savings scheme continuously gains interest at a rate of 4% per year. Hence, after x years, the total value of an initial one pound investment is y pounds, where y is equal to 1.04x. The one plus the interest, the 0.04, uh, um, all to the power of x, because uh, compounding. First of all, A, sketch y equals 1.04x, uh, where x is greater than or equal to 0. OK, so we only need to show from uh, the y-axis uh, onwards to the right. OK, so y and x. Now we know that a to the x, what that looks like, OK? And it is a curve that would have been coming in like this, goes through 1, and increases exponentially, like so. OK, so this is what that graph would look like. Calculate to the nearest pound the total value of an initial £800 investment after 10 years. OK, so after 10 years, our £800 is being multiplied by the 1.04 10 times. OK? So, 800 times by 1.04 to the power of 10 is £1,184 to the nearest pound. OK? It's actually uh, £1,184.20 okay, to the nearest pence. Use logarithms to find the number of years it takes to double the total value of any initial investment. So what I want to know is when will y be 2? So I put one pound investment in, I want y to be 2. So I want to solve this equation. Okay. Now this is an exponential equation, which I can then write in logarithmic form, like so. So log base 1.04 of 2 is 17.67, etc. Okay, so the number of years that it would take is actually, if you were being paid every at the end of the year, would be 18 years. Okay, to the nearest year. Well, not really to the nearest year. Well, it is, it is in that sense, but um, what I'm meaning by that is that I can't put 17 years. So if it was 17.47, uh, I wouldn't put 17 years because 17, uh, we haven't quite doubled our money yet. It would still be 18 years, okay? I would still need to wait another year before my money had actually doubled. But by that point, it would actually gone past doubling.